I feel all thin, sort of stretched, like butter that has been scraped over too much bread. Can you relate to Bilbo? Bilbo Baggins is telling this to Gandalf in the early part of the book, The Fellowship of the Ring, written by J.R.R. Tolkien. And I'm relating to it in a couple of ways. One, I'm definitely being stretched. So this Challenge 44 is, they say, you know, once you get into it, start getting out of your comfort zone. Well, I had not been in my comfort zone talking to a lens, but now it's like, so get outside, do a handheld, never done that before. So I decided to come out here to the Greenway where I love to run. And you can see over this way, the, uh, the path, it's actually concrete, it's very nice. Um, and over that way is the, is the dry creek that uh, will fill up if it rains, but uh, most of the time it's dry. So this is a beautiful area to come to. And I learned, I learned years ago that if I would go running, uh, I could just burn off a lot of steam. I would later learn that there's chemicals that build up. And so I've been running for a very long time and doing that sort of thing. And what I want to talk about is as entrepreneurs, we've got to learn tricks, techniques, tips, ways to freak, to, to, We've got to come up with ways to trick ourselves, quite frankly, into unplugging. And that's what this is about. I came outside to do this because I think this will be helpful. So there's three conditions I wanna talk about to kind of set the stage um, before we jump into our ways to unplug and hopefully really help everyone out, including myself, quite frankly, that I think really come against not only just anybody, but especially against entrepreneurs who are trying to lead and make a business really work. And one of them that I think is the most subtle is we spend most of our time indoors. And indoors is an artificially created environment. Think about how many hours you spend outside a week or minutes a day even. And this is before the shutdown. So if you consider your car as an indoor environment because you can control all the internal environmental things, you know, when do you get outside? And here's why this is important. We, we're not made to live indoors like that. We need some touch, because there's, there's something in like, when I grab this leaf, I mean, there's something that's like, okay, this is real, <laughs> okay? Man didn't make this. And, and nor the dirts, nor the rocks. I mean, and so just scoop up some dirt, you know? I mean, when was the last time you just got dirt under your fingernails? You know, that kind of thing. Okay, so, so that's one condition. And I think it's very subtle. Another one that's not so subtle is we are constantly being bombarded with distraction. And in the world of technology, the buzzes, the dings, the notifications, you can't even read an article, a serious article online without some pop-up and distraction. Even when I post these videos and I go to YouTube, the algorithm is constantly throwing out all kinds of distracting new videos that, oh, you must watch this, you know. And, you know, honestly, it's tempting and it's distracting. Our focus is diminished considerably by all of that. The third thing, is we're assaulted by negativity. I didn't realize until recently how severe that really is or was for me. When I started this, so right before I started this challenge, I was, I was challenged with another challenge and that was turn off all news feeds. And the reason was it's all negative. There's, there's nothing positive. In fact, even the ads are negative. Um, unless they're the ads saying, uh, your only hope is to buy our product. <laughs> there are a bunch of those, right? Um, so here's the thing. I'm gonna try to walk around here and do this. Um, so, so here's the deal is, well, first is, of all, I didn't think I could do it. And second, I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, I knew it was negative, but I didn't. So I do shut down everything, and then a few days into this, and there's a storm out in the Gulf, and I thought, oh, well, you know, the weather would be okay, right? I mean, that's not, a, that's not exactly what I think this newsfeed shutdown is. And I wasn't two minutes into watching the weathercaster before it just was an onslaught of negativity. And I can't remember what he said or anything, 
but it was like even within a few days my sensitivity to how negative it is I'm not even sure I can go back and watch news uh, uh, the, the other day I had a friend tell me hey did you hear this such and such I was like no I'm <laughs> completely in a news dark room you know it's like really great here's the fascinating thing and we'll get more into this but my creativity has gone through the roof so here's what I want you to think about I want you to take this away is do you feel like Bilbo I feel all thin sort of stretched like butter that has been scraped over too much bread right I mean don't we we feel too thin we're just stretched and we got to get that back and Bilbo is got a burden and it's the ring and you may not know anything about the story and that's okay but I will tell you this we've all got burdens and they stretch us and like Bilbo we've got to do something quickly about this he's not gonna make it and he knows that so stay tuned and find out some ideas on things you can start doing to unplug as an entrepreneur and not feel like butter spread too thin over bread